Good afternoon all. Um, I thought I'd dig out my little jewel thief circuit which I built on this little tiny breadboard and uh, you can see that that's working absolutely fine. We've got a nice bright blue LED there and of course the advantage of the jewel thief circuit is that you can light up an LED which wouldn't normally light unless you put about three volts through it uh, from a 1.5 volt battery. Um, let's actually give that a try, shall we? If you take uh, an LED, put the long leg of the LED on the long face of the battery. This is a 1.5 volt battery. Of course, nothing happens, doesn't light up. No, nope, doesn't light up at all. But if I take two of these things and I stack them, so they're in series, so we've got three volts. Try and get that to fit across there. Yep, yeah, that works absolutely fine on three volts. And of course, it's a lot easier to use uh, a three volt lithium coin cell and just again long leg on the long face of the battery just simply put that across there and you've got yourself a little torch and in fact a lot of the little key ring torches are simply this it's just an led normally white attached to a battery one leg left slightly away from one of the uh, coin cell faces and then a little mechanism for a push switch so that you can light the led up so uh, nothing new about the Jewel Thief circuit, um, I hear you say, but this one is ever so slightly enhanced. I'll turn it around and you'll see what I've added. I've actually added that it's a photoresistor. So here's a closer look at my enhancement. Um, the photoresistor you can see quite clearly there at the front with its characteristic a uh, zigzag of semiconducting material between two metal electrodes and also you get a nice close-up of the rest of the circuit uh, the LED fairly obviously there the inductor which is almost a transformer it's not quite well I suppose it is a transformer it's a double wound inductor uh, transistor at the back there sort of any NPN will do there's a 1k resistor there and that's the circuit so um, what does my photo cell enhancement do well you can use it as a remote uh, switch off so if i have this little white led you can see if i shine that at the photo cell my blue led can be switched off it's a sort of optical remote control for the jewel thief and uh, so maybe i could use that for a daylight switch so that the jewel thief uh, lights the led at night but not during the day so if I face that towards the window oh that doesn't make any difference but actually I've discovered um, that if you change the value of this resistor now this is a 1k resistor in the jewel thief circuit and I will draw the jewel thief circuit in a moment let's take that one out and replace it with a 10k so let's get the uh, 10k resistor here it is let's put it into the circuit it goes there and now you can see that um, when the photo cell is facing away from the light coming through the window we've got uh, the blue led coming on when i point that towards the window then the blue led goes off so i now have a daylight controlled jewel thief led now i'm sure the question will come up uh, what's the current draw when the led is actually extinguished well when the led is on i measured the current at about 10 milliamps which you'd expect um, to light an LED at a good brightness. When the LED goes off, I measured the current at about 100 microamps. So it's 100 times less. It's probably not quite as low as one would like in order for the battery to have a relatively long life, but it's not bad. It's 100 to 1, 10 milliamps, 100 microamps. So let's take a look at the circuit diagram um, for the Jewel Thief. This is taken from the Wikipedia article on the Jewel Thief. And on page three here, I've got a circuit diagram. Actually, I'm going to cut this out with some scissors so I can lay this down on my mat. So here's the circuit diagram of the Jewel Thief. Um, now, actually, this isn't quite how I've laid mine out. I've got mine with the resistor here um, between the coil and the base of the NPN transistor and that makes the top of this circuit um, ever so slightly easier to build because you can create the windings for this transformer in fact I'll show you because I can just pull this transformer out and you can create the transformer with um, these two 
parts of the coil joined together and that's simply where you put uh, the positive side of your battery supply down into the joined uh, center of the coil and then the two windings uh, I've got coming out on two arms of this little three pin connector. So yeah, my resistor is here, it was 1K. Um, I just changed it to 10K. So you can see that the resistor value is not that critical. It can be pretty much anything. I suppose you could have resistor top and bottom. That would probably still work. Uh, pretty much any NPN transistor. The LED um, can be blue or white. Probably also work with red and green, but um, blue and white's more impressive because as we know, you need uh, at least three volts to light these things up and we're able to do it from 1.5 volts. Um, the hardest part really of this uh, circuit is the little inductor, this sort of transformer with uh, the two windings joined here at the top. It's, um, it's a fairly complicated thing to wind and you have to get your windings going in the right direction. And the direction of windings is indicated by these two dots. Now there are plenty of videos on YouTube on how to uh, wind an inductor for a jewel thief. In fact, I've done one myself, so I'll um, put uh, a, a, a card up there so that you can uh, have a look at that. That gives instructions on how to uh, wind this inductor. But uh, where do you get this little ferrite ring? Well, there is one source that's quite handy. Um, if you've got some of these uh, old compact fluorescent lamps that have blown and failed and you've thrown out and you take them apart, well, then you'll find uh, this inside a circuit board. And as you can see from this one, there's a, on this one a little plastic holder and in there was a little ferrite ring. And I've got some of these ferrite rings here. They come in all different shapes and sizes. And you'll find that the Jewel Thief circuit is fairly tolerant of pretty much any ferrite. Uh, number of turns probably doesn't matter that much. Thickness of the wire, well, anything really. Um, so yes, I decided to put my uh, little um, inductor or transformer, you might call it, on a three pin connector. So let me put that back in my circuit. It goes just there in the middle and that should power up. Oh, my enhancement has switched the circuit off because of my photo cell. Maybe if I turn it that way, uh, the blue LED will stay on. Right, now this enhancement, where does it go on the circuit? Well, I tried various places. I actually tried putting it across this inductor winding and that kind of worked, but it wasn't very sensitive. And in the end, I found the best place was kind of here. So it's simply across a uh, base and emitter of the NPN transistor. And this has the zigzag of the photocell. So yeah, just shove it there and you've got uh, a controllable jewel thief. So what else can we use this uh, enhanced jewel thief for? Well, how about this? If I shine this blue LED at my jewel thief, whenever this LED is on, this one's not. And whenever this one's off, this one's on. So it's a not gate, it's an inverter. So uh, could we use this as a logic element? Well, maybe. Now, if we're thinking logic, of course, we need some more complicated gates. So how about this? We've got two LEDs uh, pointing at the photo cell. If they're both off, my dual thief LED is on. If either one of them comes on, my dual thief LED goes off, either one of them or both. That's a NOR gate. A NOR gate. And uh, as we can see here from uh, NOR logic or the NOR gate on Wikipedia, uh, a NOR gate is a logic gate which gives a positive output only when both inputs are negative. Like NAND gates, NOR gates are so-called universal gates that can be combined to form any other kind of logic gate. For example, the first embedded system, Apollo Guidance Computer, was built exclusively from NOR gates, about 5,000. 600 of them. Ooh, er, uh, Jewel Thief computer, anyone? Cheerio.